went all around the kibbutz. They didn't leave no house without doing something, and they kidnapped. We were in the safe rooms like uh, 11 hours. My name is Effie. I'm Shai's mother. Shai was my oldest daughter. It says, when I throw the frisbee, a part of me flies with it. And you can see the plate going into the pool. And uh, really, it really symbolizes uh, our son and his spirit that we want to be flying all over the world. I think this is one of the reasons that the world doesn't understand exactly what happened here. Or because it's so hard to deal with it, to face it that human kind can do these things to humankind, to its own species. The Temple of Joy became a, a big cemetery of some of our finest Yes, let's pray for their memories. This place is not an easy place. However, the Pasu continues, Einze ki in bet elokim. This is nothing but the house of God. Vize shal hashamayim. And I represent the vast majority of IDF soldiers and the vast majority of Israelis. We just want to live in peace. We don't want to be soldiers. We want to go back to our wives and have kids and work and change the world to the better, not with uniform, but with words and action. Our athletes to know about this place and about Maccabiya is that it's a once in a lifetime experience for many of us. For some of us, it's many times in a lifetime that we never grow tired of. The most important thing to do, it's in our hands. And coming to a Maccabiya in Israel with over 10,000 people all together, doing sports, celebrating the life that we're still alive and we will be here for all those that won't be able to. We have to stay together, to be united and to be reunited as many times as we can. And the Maccabiya will give us that amazing opportunity. All Jews around the world need each other. We need to support one another and we need to first bring all of our hostages home and then all of our family needs to come together for the next Maccabiah in 2025. 